Hi everyone, this is Cheryl. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a journal that I did for Lisa and her YouTube channel is God's Girly Girl. She had contacted me uh, a few months back and wanted me to do a journal that I did for the Graphics Fairy Design Team. And, um, you know, I made slight changes here and there just to make her journal unique you know, for her, and she love, she loves botanicals, so I changed the signature covers to be all botanical. So, as you can see, it is similar. I just laid out the, the design just slightly different on the front, and she definitely wanted the vintage crocheted edging, so I did that on all the edges of the signatures and on the front and back cover. The inside is is pretty much the same here as the original except I added some vintage lace trim just because on this one the way it was constructed it constructed this this little piece was kind of bent and I didn't really like the, the looks of it so I added that. And these um, botanical prints, the front and back of each signature has one. And these are from the Graphics Fairy. And I just aged them with one of their blank ephemera pieces that was a little, that way they were a little more antique looking. So each one, the front and back are different. So, you know, and a few, you know, I did add botanical vellum to each of the signatures. And there's, you know, a bunch of different ephemera pieces inside. Doilies, vintage dictionary, vintage botanical book pages. And this is from a furniture book that I have. Some early 1900s ledger pages. Music, and then I made some, each, each of the signatures has a pocket. And in here, this is a, um, ATC kit that I bought from Julie's Etsy store, the old design shop. And they're just pretty botanicals. I figured Lisa could use these for just journaling here and there. And this is what the set looks like. It's really pretty. So I just did it on thinner paper for hers just because her book is kind of full. Didn't want the bulk. These ephemera pieces are for from Artie Mays. Just a little receipt. And that one I believe is from the Graphics Fairy. And then this opens up too, so you have another spot for journaling. messages. I just love these botanical prints. They're gorgeous. And some more ephemera pieces from the Graphics Fairy. And I made sure that on the back sides they're all antique looking too. And the botanical vellum pages are from the Graphics Fairy too. Gardening book. Some Edith Holden. An angel. And this document's kind of pretty. I ended up printing it out on some French toile stationery that I aged up. Just thought it looked pretty. In the pockets in the middle, some of them I did with um, Rachel's from Rock Roxy Creations. I turned her digital um, collages and used them as pockets. I also went over them with another antique document to age them up a little bit. And this is a map of Italy. Lisa said she, instead of the 
the London map, she really wanted to have a map of Italy and then also of the Holy Lands. And I did a small one of the Holy Lands too, which will be coming up. This is just another little envelope from the Graphics Fairy. Remember that furniture page, Edith Holden. This on the original on the original journal, it was on the back cover of one of the signatures, but I wanted to make sure I included this in Lisa's journal, so I just turned it into a shrunk it down and turned it into a journaling card. Here I've used one of the receipts just as a pocket. Beautiful botanicals and some more ephemera to write on the back. Just love some of the detailing on the antique furniture. And some more. These two pieces are from the Graphics Fairy. This is one of Artie Mays' ephemera kits. And these are from the Graphics Fairy. And this Shell print was from the Graphics Fairy too, and this was like the original journal. It had it in there, so I included it. A couple more pieces from the Graphics Fairy. These were some of their printables. I think this one was under the this one was under the journaling. And I believe this is under like the envelopes. Little artist coins. And the French ephemera piece. And I think this one is one of mine that I shrank down. Paris postcard. And here we have. Angel journaling card, and this is from, I think it's from the 1890s or 1860s. I have a geography book, and I was so happy to find that there was a map in there of the Holy Lands for her. And a beautiful botanical, again, one of Rachel's from Roxy Creations, one of her collage sheets. Music, gardening, some more ephemera pieces from the Graphics Fairy. Printed it out on aged paper. Again, this is from Artie Mays. I think it was all from one ephemera kit that she had. And I just loved this piece of music paper since it had the old tape on it and markings. This was the same as the um, original journal, too, and I've added the vintage items that were in there. And a vintage bird collector's card. And 
then I've added my embossed stamp, a penchant for the past. And I did some textile collaging in the corner here. And that is it. I hope, Lisa, you like it. If not, it'll be up for sale for somebody else, but um, I hope everybody has a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.